You know, I loved being in plays when I was growing up. Did you have many childhood hobbies? You know what, just one. Every day after school, me and my buddies would go out front of his house and just play ball hockey until the sun went down. Huh, why am I not surprised? <laughs> Well, you know, for a lot of people, including myself, their childhood hobbies and passions can influence their career path. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I did study sports broadcasting. It's certainly the case for the person in our next story. Cole Miller from Napanee, Ontario, experimented with bootlegging in high school. Bootlegging, that's an interesting hobby. Tell me more. Yeah, he's gone on to create a uniquely Canadian whiskey while still in university. His product slogan is Drinkin' Life's Adventures. Well, that's a great slogan, and now I'm a little thirsty. Cole stopped by the Ottawa Bureau to share a sip of his 12 barrels whiskey with Dave Brown. Well, you've often heard of the fantasy of the college student at the end of the night. Man, we should start our own bar. We should brew our own beer. Well, Cole Miller is the founder of 12 Barrels Whiskey, and he said, let's make my own whiskey. Cole, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Tell me, how'd it get started? Uh, it was out of pure need. We, I got caught stealing booze from home and that sort of thing, and I was the supply for all my friends and whatnot, and we, and we needed a new sample. Um, we didn't have a cooler brother to, to go buy it for us and, and whatnot, so I decided, decided to make it myself. Uh, so what, it started in like the bathtub or something? Started out underneath my bed out of jugs of grape juice is what we started making. Uh, was a wine-based product, if you would, could call it that and uh, one thing led to another eventually, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your product. Tell me what makes it different. What does it taste like? Um, what's unique about us is we outsource our whiskey production. So I don't actually own the distillery or the bottling facility, which keeps my cost of goods down, which means I can take those overhead costs and put them towards marketing. So it's a bit more of a brand. Um, so we buy from three different whiskey distilleries, um, and then we blend them in a unique uh, formula that uh, is something that the market hasn't seen yet that we think is quite good. Tell me about the color of your whiskey. So, Whiskey, we call, we give it, uh, we're very flamboyant in, in our tasting notes and our colors. So if we we're to look that up and uh, the official color is burnt amber. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. That's, that's the way I like my so, beer too. <laughs> so I would, I'd say it's a little bit darker than what an apple, um, an apple juice would be sort of, and it's got that, uh, a little bit of a burnt caramel um, note to it um, um, for the color as well. So the next step in whiskey appreciation, I imagine, is the smell. So can we actually bust this bottle open? Absolutely. And pour out a couple uh, little Shotskis here. Oh, I love the sound of that cork popping out. Tell me about the smell, because that is a unique whiskey smell right there. So it's super unique, it's very light and floral, and those are influenced by the, the, three, whis the three whiskeys that go into it. It's corn whiskey, wheat whiskey, and a rye. So corn brings uh, a sweetness that you wouldn't otherwise get. Wheat offers um, a bread, doughy-like um, nose, and then the rye is very spicy. Um, so you've got... Oh, it's, not, it's not like a jalapeno spicy, it's, it's like a, a white pepper um, um, spice that you're getting on that nose. It's good, you can feel it. It, it kind of clears the nostrils when you take it down to the lungs. Okay, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a sip here. I'm gonna take a sip here. I'm gonna take a big risk. Here we go. Oh, that is really smooth. That is super smooth. <laughs> That's incredible. What brought you to Ottawa? Why, why did Ottawa become a location for you to kind of continue developing the company? Yeah, so I was came to Carleton for the Cognitive Science program. So that's what brought me there uh, to Ottawa originally. And then um, while first year university, I was going to the brew store and making beer and turning that beer into whiskey. How we got started here. Um, and then at Carleton, I was able to get into the, the Lead to Win program, which is a business accelerator. They give you a little bit of money, some office space, and some resources. Um, so that's what's anchored us here to, to stay in Ottawa, is uh, some of the resources that the, the university have provided us. And sometimes in Ontario or in Canada in general, it can be hard to get the product to market. So, so where do you stand now with the, with the possibility of getting this whiskey onto the taste buds of consumers? So I came up with the 12 Barrels name at Christmas of 2015, so a bit over a year ago now. Uh, and we submitted our first samples in, in April of 2016. Um, so I've been working with them for about almost a year now going on it. Um, we're finally starting to get some traction, but it took us about six or seven months to finally get that recipe. Spent a couple months, this is the perfect whiskey, now we're gonna submit it, and it was no. 
right? All right. And no again, and no again, and no again. So we had to do lots of tweaking. This recipe doesn't reflect what we initially had at all, um, but it's what the um, the provinces wanted, and, and uh, we're better off with it. So now you're getting making progress with the provinces. You've had a little bit of mainstream attention. You were on Dragons then. Yeah, that was how, exciting. How does it feel when you know you're starting to garner some of that attention, and the, and the company is on the verge of growing? It's exciting. But we have to remember, I still haven't sold a bottle yet, so my head's not getting too big. <laughs> so we've still got a lot, of, a lot of work to go, and it's just in its infancy. Glad that we've started to get some traction. People like the brand and are, and are associating with it and uh, interacting online with us, and we've been getting lots of good feedback, which is a great start, uh, but lots of work left to go. Well, Cole, we want to wish you the best of luck. Let's have a little bit more. Cheers, big guy. Thank you. A great story coming out of my alma mater, Carleton University. Can we share a bottle once it hits liquor stores in Toronto, Molly? Mm, at 40% alcohol? I think a sip is enough for me. You can handle the rest of the bottle on your own, can't you, Anthony? Uh, I can certainly try. All those flavors that Dave and Cole talked about in the segment, it sounds like a great sipping whiskey. Cole recommends enjoying 12 barrels over ice, and I plan to do just that. Well, best of luck to Cole and his product, and if you would like to keep up with its progress, you can visit the website 12barrels.com. That is the word 12, not the number, barrels.com.